You really, 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 really like Jesus. But if you are honest with yourself, you don't really want to become like him. You admire his humility. We all do. But do you really want to be that humble? I mean, you think it's beautiful. I think we all think it's beautiful that the Son of God would get down on his knees and wash the feet of his disciples. We think that's beautiful, but is that really the goal of your life? And is your life headed in that direction of servanthood? You're thankful that Jesus was spit on and abused and that he took it, but you would never let that happen to you. You love the fact that he laid down his rights, but you're going to spend your life fighting for yours and defending yours. You praise him, you sing songs, and you love him because he loved you enough to suffer during his whole time on this earth for your sake. But you're going to make sure you have fun while you're down here and that you have a good time. In short, you think Jesus is a great savior, but he's not a great role model. And I say that because a lot of times I'll, I'll give messages and, I, and it's about the character of Jesus Christ and the way we ought to follow that character. And, I, and it's meant with this, hey, no, I can have this, I can have that. And I just got to stop and say, wait a second, is Jesus Christ your role model? Think this through. Is it the desire of your heart that you would be this servant and lay down your life for someone else? The crazy thing about all of this is that 1 John 2, 6 says, whoever claims to live in him must walk as Jesus did. Let me read it again. Whoever claims to live in him must walk as Jesus did. It's not, it's not an optional thing. It's not this optional thing, well, maybe I can be a Christian and admire everything about Jesus, but my life will look nothing like his. No, John says, no, whoever claims to live in him, whoever claims to have Jesus in him, must walk as Jesus did. 